have some, oh, some okay. dirt. And we'll do it on three, okay? Ready, everyone? One, two, three. Woo. All right. Very good. It is an exciting project. Um, it is our it represents our fifth plant in our uh, um, in our company. It is our second greenfield uh, plant that we've uh, undertaken over the last five years. We started the search uh, about a year and a half ago, early 2018. Looked at a few sites across uh, across uh, two or three states, and really landed on this area. Um, uh, for the location, proximity to our customer base. It certainly expands our mar market base um, and geographic footprint. And um, we, when we met the mayor and uh, state individuals, they were very welcoming. Um, and they put together a very uh, aggressive incentive package that really met all our needs. And you mentioned uh, it's going to be a couple million dollars in incentives, but then what, what is coming back to the community uh, as part of that? Yeah, um, uh, we, uh, we're going to employ 80 full-time permanent people um, with, with higher paying salaries. Um, you can imagine with the type of equipment that we're going to bring in here, we're spending over $40 million of equipment. We're going to look for certain skill sets. Um, that are going to demand uh, um, you know, a higher pay. And uh, it's not only the 80. A lot of people lose sight, they say, well, you're investing 80 million, but you're only generating 80 positions. But it's really the spin-offs from a company like ours that we, uh, we kind of map out to the, uh, to the community. Uh, certainly from an indirect standpoint, indirect employment standpoint, uh, the estimate right now is anywhere between 120 and 150 um, uh, other jobs. So why, why Wisconsin Rapids? Why was Wisconsin Rapids such a good fit? It's really the the um, expanding our market footprints. Right now, our other plants are starting from the east uh, in Canada, um, and then we've got two plants in Ohio. We've got one in Indiana, and now we're moving further west into the Wisconsin and branching off even to hit some customers that we have in um, Minnesota. It represents a, a very good sweet spot for us. Uh, of the extrusion, uh, extrusion companies that we have in this area. So, uh, talk about what you are going to be bringing to the table then, besides the uh, you know, the plant itself. You're going to be making investments in this community as well, correct? Um, right now, it's it's the plant. Um, we do. We're sitting on 60 acres here. Um, the I, the uh, forecast can be that we potentially bring in another division to uh, to occupy some of the space. Metallico, in terms of its footprint, is going to probably occupy about half this um, this location, but we have an additional 30 acres that we can also grow. What's already done here at the plant? Because I understand some of the footings and some of the underground work is part of what's going to take the most time here in the construction right. process. Yeah, our our plant builds. Um, Right now, if you look out, it doesn't seem by much, but there's a, been a lot accomplished. Um, we have our deep pit excavations, as we call it, and our furnace foundations. They take the, the majority of time, and so that is what you see going on right now. So you, you don't really see much above ground, but there's a lot going on below ground. Um, so furnace foundation excavations, uh, we've poured um, those foundations right now for that equipment. We've, uh, we are digging a deep casting pit right now. That's going to be in total, when it's all said and done, uh, there's a first phase of that, which is about 40 feet, and then another cylindrical sort of excavation goes another 40 feet. Um, and as you mentioned, the building foundations are going in uh, uh, well right now. So we've already, we're already you know, here at the groundbreaking today, but you've already made about a couple months worth of progress, you would say? Yeah, for sure, a couple months. Uh, we are catching up. Uh, we, we wanted to be in uh, the ground a little earlier, uh, but every, you know, I mean, we, we had to, uh, uh, as good corporate citizens, we want to make sure that our permits are in place. 
uh, environmental permits through uh, WDNR um, took the time that it took. Uh, we, we heard it was a little bit longer than we had past experience in other states, but we got through it and um, it all worked out well. So this is going to be the start of a really good partnership then between Metallico and the state of Wisconsin and the community of Wisconsin yes. Rapids. You That's say. our plan. That yeah. is our plan. Explain a little bit about what you do and what you will be doing here. Sure. Um, what we essentially do uh, is take in scrap aluminum uh, as our primary infeed material. And that scrap aluminum comes sort of really in two, two channels. One, through our current customer base, which are extruders and rolling mills, and they generate scrap. And as part of that, we bring in their scrap back in and convert it, melt it down into our uh, large furnaces, and we will cast that um, a molten metal, molten aluminum, into uh, alloys as per their specifications. So we will be producing aluminum billets and aluminum slabs out of this plant and basically selling it back to extruders. Some of that's going to stay right here in Wisconsin, right? Head up to Schofield? Correct, yeah. Uh, we've got a few customers already here in uh, Wisconsin. You mentioned Schofield. Crystal Finishings is uh, certainly going to be an integral part of this, uh, 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 this plant. We have great relationship with them already. We've got our product already um, certified with them. Um, so they're, they're going to be key for us also. Anything else you'd like to add? So we're just excited to be to be a part of the community. We we do we I'm sorry I didn't mention the rail access that we're going to have here. Uh, right now, I, for the most part, it will be inbound traffic again to bring in our raw materials that we'll need. But uh, we hope that that will also be an outbound traffic um, uh, with our finished product. Did you bring any Molson Canadian with you? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Well, that can be arranged. It can be arranged. <laughs> You've heard right. of our Molson. Sounds good. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Very positive uh, thing for Wisconsin Rapids uh, and, and Central Wisconsin. Uh, talk about that a little bit. You know, this is the ultimate goal. I mean, when we first created the WEDC and gave them some programming ideas like the certified site program, this is exactly what we had in mind, is to bring manufacturing back to Central Wisconsin and in particular Wisconsin Rapids with the history we have here over you know, the last hundred plus years of heavy manufacturing. Uh, the excitement's through the roof. I mean, we've got 80 full-time jobs coming now because we put the hands on, you know, we put the right hands at the at the decision-making table. Uh, it's not bureaucrats deciding anymore. It's people with business experience drawing business opportunities to Central Wisconsin. Talk about um, the two million dollar incentive plan. Is that correct, right there? Yeah. About mm -hmm. um, and what you get back in return for that, because I know he just mentioned it's not just the 80 jobs, it's the trucking jobs. It's, you know, ancillary growth in this area because of the plant. There's the potential for more there, is that correct? It is. I mean, and you look at that $2 million investment from us and, the, and the, from the city also, and you put that into the $80 million in construction and the 80 full-time jobs it creates, it pays itself off almost instantly. I mean, that's what the future of economic development is, is making sure that people understand that we've got opportunities and we can give you know the opportunity back so it's a win-win situation for both sides so how often do you get to through the wisconsin economic development office you mentioned that that was key in getting this done i mean how how many times in the last year have you have we had something like this that's come in yeah i tell you i can tell you that we've probably done half a dozen groundbreakings in the wisconsin rapids alone that wedc has been involved in from the ymca boys and girls club project to the tribune project down by the river to this project and beyond, WEDC's got so many opportunities now uh, that we've given them freedom and flexibilities to create that they're, that people are beating down the doors to come up in the central Wisconsin and to create something exciting. I have nothing else. Good. That's All perfect. Right. Cool. Sure. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. You guys Stay too.